Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome back to another episode of Thousand Week Reich in, Bul in Bulganin's Russian Soviet perspective. As you may have noticed from the last video, Bulganin's reformist economic thought and influence has spread into the Balkans and into Iran. And I'm later going to see it through if I can expand into the Mediterranean Pact with Turkey, Hellenic State, and Italy, as well dismantle Italy's colonies and get and help the people of repressed Italy, of repressed Italian colonists get back to their rightful native lands. So let's get to it. So as we may have noticed right away. I'm still focusing on Germany, but but maybe I should also let's see. Better cre I need to create a Balkan front so that it's easier. Uh, also, also with the new Russian music you're hearing in the background, it's it's really kind of cool to hear it. The trans call. Okay, change this to the Caucasus, the Caucasus Middle East, because I'm going to be invading the Middle East also along with that, but later on. Mm -hmm. There we go. Mm-hmm. Let me let me make a new let me make some new units close to the Romanian border so that so that I'll create a second Balkan. Yeah, like yeah, like these things take yeah, like I mean, come on, these things tend to take time. Like, come on, Sergei, I don't know how to spell that name, but whatever. Mhm. Mm Twenty-four. Okay, so I can only create like twenty-four of those units. Oh. Let's see. Um. Oh, I can create a new Air Force command. Veteran Air Instructions. Okay. Now, um, let me pre-war strategic bomber. I need a okay. I'm building up my air force so that I don't have to wait, wait any longer. Oh, I got interceptors. That's fine. Let's see. Okay. Pre-war a wartime fighter. Yeah, I'm gonna need wartime fighters, so I'm placing them wherever. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Wartime interceptor. Wartime strategic bomber. Oh, oh, sorry about that. So that sometimes tend to happen whenever. Mhm. Mm Nothing would fundamentally change. Oh, I forgot to put this unit on hold since the last episode. Silly me. Mhm. Mm and my bomber can reach almost all of continental Europe. Okay, let's see now. Next one, and the Central Committee schedule. The Central Committee has announced plans for the complete reunification of the Soviet Union. All right. Oh, good. Finally. We no longer get the effects. All right. Okay. A MIG fighter. I'm going to need those. Let's see. Pre-war. Okay. All right. Okay. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. Vladimir Junkov. Oh wait, no, 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 not there. I was thinking more in Montenegro. There we go. Mhm. Mm How? Let me hold on. Let me do something for a minute. Okay, there we go. 
Now I know I not, now I know you may think the long part I'm doing right now is boring, but it's kind of vital because I did do some tests earlier with this in a different gameplay scenario, uncorded and unscripted, and I wanted to make sure how it'll play out. But now that I got all the pieces together in place, let's see how this will work out. All right, now let's get this fork cracking. Mm-hmm. The Transcaucus Middle East, you're up. Let me just make sure I get... Gotta get Iran on board, gotta get... Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm also going to need to make sure I get... And Serbia on board, too. Actually, no, hold on, that... Okay, here we go. Let's see, um... Oh, that's my... Oh, that's my Navy airships, okay. Fighter... Oh, I still... Oh, I forgot I even still had those Fokker Wolf war, war, Wartime Fighters, I almost forgot. How silly of me. An ace pilot promoted? Who dares win? Holy shoot, man, I didn't actually expect that to happen. Okay, um, I'm gonna need to get the- I'm gonna need to get these guys involved. The Revel Sus report. Okay, I need to prevent Croatia from falling. There we go. I'm borrowing the, the lines from the front here so that- Mm-hmm. Yep. Turkey now just commit- Turkey is now gone. Next on the chopping block will be- Yeah, this is not gonna stand. I'm not white piecing. Yes, I'm not white piecing with Greece again. With Greece again, like why would I white piece in the middle of a battle? Okay, now I can integrate Bariatia, and I'm gonna integrate the other places of a USSR back into the fold. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. The Hellenic state has now surrendered. Force attack. Okay, Kingdom of Croatia and I just white Kingdom of Cro my ally Kingdom of Croatia just white peace because it wanted these lands, which is kind of awkward now. But don't worry, I'll make sure that my soldiers are also trying to link up with each other. 
They'll try to go in different directions just to lead the armies astray. You're still getting in this war, Croatia, like, I'm not even joking. Don't white peace in the middle of a battle, because then you're going to be suspicious, then it's like you're suspicious and want to leave my alliance. There we go. We have some activity. Okay. Passive defense, gotta keep... Okay, let me send. Okay, let me send this detachment unit to help pr protect Bulgaria. Mm -hmm. All right, the Sukia was already finished. Now for the Mig twenty-five. Mm hmm. Much. Much of wow, much of my armies have already been able to reunite reunite much of the south, which is kind of actually impressive. President Harriman elected as US president. Not surprising there. Okay, let's see now. Alright, now I'm getting Croatia back in the fight for reals this time, and I didn't realize why I didn't earlier, so uh, let's get this over with. Man, Italy's just a mess. I'm dividing the subgroups into different areas just so I don't lose any ground. Negotiate with the Republicans? Alright. A legal purge. Mm hmm. Italy's already done for. Well, the Mediterranean Alliance is already done for, so, uh, yeah. The Kingdom of Montenegro. I shall annex that. For Croatia, they shall annex that land. They shall. the People's Republic of Bulgaria. Now, nah, for me, I'll take these lands. As well, annex the Hellenic State. Mm-hmm. Annex Turkey, Greece, and the uh, Montenegro. Let's, I'll annex also Italy as well. But let me liberate... Wait, am I sure? Am I doing this right? Oh yeah, liberate South Tyrol. Liberate the state of Libya, Tunisia, Swiss. Oh yeah, liberate also Ethiopia too because uh yeah. Oh yeah, I better also liberate the Kingdom of Austria, because I know that they're going to be a small state, but... Mm -hmm. And... Yeesh! The Swiss government has been restored thanks to... The Swiss government has been restored thanks to me, but yeesh. I better start organizing Europe again. Occupation of Turkey. Release Turkey under our guidance. Mm -hmm. Liberate Greece. Liberate Montenegro. And Italy. 
liberate them. Yep. Hale Selassie, thanks to me, returns back to his rightful throne in Adida Sababa in Ethiopia. I even give him the added sweetener of getting back, getting Djibouti Som and Somalia too, to widen his empire. Okay, now I'm gonna have to make some changes with the borders in here and here. Give me a minute, please. And I have to say that, uh, that these new borders are actually coming along nicely, and I was able to also puppet... Yep, the Mediterranean Pact is no more. So the only two... Pa so the only two packs left are the new order, and the Toronto, but I still have my own kind of semi-social pact, but it's not that much. Increase rule of ruralist favors, um... Okay, let's let's get back the the gents back to where they were before. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see, trans caucuses and the I like the smooth music. Mm, tra -la -la -la. I like this music for this for the setting. But now it's my but now my eyes turn to you, Germany. You will be defeated once and for all. Or how about just downgraded in size because I really don't care about you no more. Mm-hmm. Just look at this beautiful beautiful puppets I made, with the exception of Albania under Envar Hoxha, so you got a comfortable ally. Mm -hmm. The new leaderships are the Greek social, the Greek Marxist-Leninist man, Charlio, Charlios Florakis, Lu Luigi Longo. Wait, does it mean Mario? Does it mean Luigi from the Super Mario Brothers is leading a communist Italy? A leftist communist? Oh boy, this this changes everything. And the Turkish Marcus Leninists are led by Sefik Husunu. I think I'm spelling it right, I don't know. Promote flying aces. There we go. Oh, I still have more. Mm-hmm. I have 792 factories. I'm basically rolling in the dough with all this. Okay. Let me make sure I also help build better roads for all of my puppets, just so that... And we're already in 1957. I don't know how long that war lasted anyway. It kind of threw me off track. Okay, integrate Norlisk. Yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of time for me to reintegrate everything back into the USSR. But, uh, well, the lands of the USSR. They shall not stand in the way of progress. The Soviet Phoenix, much like a phoenix rising from the ashes, the Soviet Union is back. With a vengeance and pretenders defeated... And with the pretenders defeat, the motherland can finally move on to answer her greatest call. Alright, time for the most best war of all. The war with Germany 2.0. Go, my pretties. We shall now defeat... We shall now defeat the German Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Also, Hungary, you're getting in on the action, so, uh, yeah. Don't wor Oh, don't worry, Jeremy. Did you really think I didn't know you were gonna invade there? I'm gonna halt you right there on this line. W. Averill Har Harriman elected as president. Mm-hmm. 
Let's see, Swiss neutrality, Austria, leftovers of Jewish persecution. That That's just harsh, man. Okay, reintegrate the Far East, reintegrate Novozobersk, and reintegrate Osland. Okay. Also, I'm not even fast-forwarding it. I'm not even fast-forwarding this, like... Like, I am fast-forwarding this, but, like, not using, like, the land army cheat, like... Like, look at this. Germany's already being defeated as it is. Okay, now we can push back up in Italy and... Also, I'm gonna have to make... Yep. Ger yep, the Soviets have bested Germany. However, I want to make sure I get Swiss and the Austrians involved in the peace treaty because I want to make sure that they get their lands back. So I'm going to do something quick. There we go. Now if, now if the Swiss and the Austrians now par partaking the fighting. Now with the Swiss and Austrians taking part in the fighting, they'll be able to get a seat at the negotiating table to also get their lands back, plus even more if they need to. Another Union, another Soviet. Say what? What is this Union? The creation of the EMPF? Another Union- oh, I see. Ahaha, <laughs> nice. I love it. So now it's being led by a council this time. The EMPK something Senate. Hmm. Also, America, what? Oh. Oh, America, you're already on the borders of Germany, but, uh. I'm already. But don't worry, Toronto, I'm already doing the same. I'm already doing the thing that. that you guys never actually did anyway. Also, I think maybe later on, I might as well have Italy annex. Okay. Alright, boys, now we go on to the treaty. Let's see how this will work out. You know, maybe this time I might as well have Austria get, like, um, Slovenia. Hold on, let me make sure I, uh... There we go. For me, I'll be taking these areas, just Mamel and this and this place, whatever. S the Swiss will get back these areas. Austria will get back sl its mainland, but also its Slovenia, plus more. Mm-hmm. We shall liberate the Republic of Poland, to liberate Benelux, and the Czech Resistance too, because, uh... Yeah, I'm getting bored. Mm-hmm. Now for Poland... Now let's say for Poland, I'm going to make sure that they get these lands back because they deserve it. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Germany is now reduced to something like World War I era. It's so funny looking, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Wait, Treaty of Bratislava? Hold on, why am why am I going back through this again? This makes no sense. Oh, I'm just taking our B states. Like what? That's all I just needed. I don't know why it went made me go through the treaty a second time again. Okay. Reunification of Czechoslovakia. 
liberate Slovakia, the Slovak Socialist People's Republic. Wow, Germany, I didn't... National Socialism with Goering characteristics. I'm sorry, Goering, but I already reduced your country nothing to more like the modern... to the close modern German borders, so... You're screwed, that's all I can just say. But just to be on the safe side, I'm still making sure I have my armies here. Have my armies around Austria because you may not know what what'll happen next. And just look at this, look at this glorious Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. The Soviet Phoenix rises, and nothing will stop it. The Benelux Revolution. The Greek Democratic Republic. Oh! The Greek Democratic Republic got, like, Cyprus. Okay, that, that, that's cool, that's cool. Let's see, the Montenegro Socialist Republic by Milo Van Dilas. Alright. Mm hmm Now I can focus all my manpower on the Middle, e on the Middle East now, thank God. All right, now time for the invasion of Syria. And I'm only going to need Turkey for this one. All right, let's see now. Let's let's focus back. Let's focus all our energy right here. Okay, hold that air unit and... Yep. Turkey. Syria has just been defeated. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I just recreated the modern day Soviet Union borders from like post-World War II, but it's in 1957. Hmm. Okay, now, okay, now it's time for us to, uh, really get in on the ball game. Really, Germany? You're declaring war on Poland? Are you serious? Y you can't be serious. <laughs> like, come on, Poland. Like, you've already done an- I mean, like, come on, Germany. You've already done enough like this with- With every neighbor, like- Like, oh my god. Okay. Okay, the Kingdom of Jordan has just been annexed, so that's good. Install Jordan as a puppet. Mm -hmm. pa Palestine has just surrendered. Okay, Confederal District. Nope. Reset, actually. Mm-hmm. 
fate of Le Palestine and Lebanon. Oh. There we go. Anaxeria. Let's go through one of them at a time. The fate of Palestine. Install a collaborationist government. Lebanon. Install loyal Lebanese government and Okay, I don't like how this always happens. I'm gonna have to do something. I'll be right back. Alright, there we go now. A better reorganized Middle East. A Syrian communist republic under military dictatorship. But there are still monarchists, so in a sense, like, they're like, not communists, but want to be kept monarchists. But hey, Bulganin thought is still far-reaching, and I'll make sure it stays that way. <laughs> now, what am I gonna do with Finland? Or better yet, I might as well also puppet Mongolia. Actually, as a better added sweetener, I couldn't get Mongolia, but I decided to puppet the next best thing. S Iraq. Yep, Bulganin is fought has just reached Syria. And now I can double the world's oil supply with my puppets. And I think having the tr Caucasus and the Middle East connected... Watch out, Saudi Arabia, you got a new contender on the block. <laughs> and watch out, to Toronto Accords. Oh, hold up, hold up. The French... Oh, hold up. Okay, the French commune declared war on the Free French Republic, but... Bulganin reunites the Soviet Union. The battle continues, comrades. Healing our wounds. The time of healing is upon us. With the Soviet reunified, the process of recovery is of utmost importance. Mm-hmm. Bulganin has become number one top dog. Mm -hmm. The business and ruralist and national security. Still gotta keep an eye on them. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure what I should even do. Well, I'm not really sure what I should what I should even do at this point. I already reunified the Soviet Union, but I'm still don't like how the U.S. is still having imperial state of Iran territory right here. Maybe you, maybe any of you fellows can comment in the video if I should also go to war with China and puppet and get some territory or Afghanistan, or at least puppet Finland or annex Mongolia. I mean, I'm still on the question of debating for Mongolia even in the second episode because I'm not really sure. Like from the first, ep like from the late, like from the earlier episode. Yeah, I'm not sure. And wait, hold up. When did Nigeria and Ghana get independence? Oh, British decolonization is happening, folks. It's finally happening. Because I also helped liberate Libya and Tunisia, so, uh... I guess that helps add the pressure. But I seriously do not like how Germany is still wanting to... be at war with Poland. Like, come on. It's just a mess. Like, come on, Guri. You know, I already reduce you to this much size. You really, really need to go back to war with Poland again. And it says Goringism. Like, really? I think I'd rather choose Bulgananism over over Bulg over Goringism. Like, like, come on. Hmm. But like I said, comment down below if you want me to actually invade other countries, if you want me to puppet other countries. The green countries are the ones that I already puppeted, as you may have noticed, or installed government puppets to my Bulgananism thought. So yeah. But I might as well end the, end but I might as well end the video here for now, mainly 
because um I'm still conflicted on whatever countries to even annex territory a bit and comp and puppet them because like Bulganin Bulganin reunified the Soviet Union, but I still want to go through this entire the new entire focus tree along with the economic industrialization and restoring the union. So comment below. So comment below. Or like, or like the video if you want to see an episode five where I go through the entire, fo if I can possibly get through the entire focus tree and also s puppet some more countries and install collab collaborationist Bulgananism puppets along the way. Comrades, we are spreading forth Bulgananism and no one will stop us. Anyway, I hope you comrades like this video, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for episode five.